20% of global manufactured goods are still produced by the United States. The next closest manufacturing economy in the world is China with 13%. Behind them is Japan with 12%. So we are still the number one player when it comes to manufacturing. Today's careers in manufacturing pay well above the average wage scale. But in order to qualify for those careers, people need to have the right training. In Florida, there's roughly 17,000 manufacturers. When we talk to those manufacturers, they tell us that the game is changing. Finding people who have the specific skills we need has been difficult. Sometimes I've had to go out of state or even, in one case, out of the country to find the people I need. Florida's manufacturers are faced with an increased need for skilled workers. Unfortunately, the people that we have coming in to apply for the positions in our facilities don't have the skills we need. We conducted focus groups throughout the state. We asked employers, what are your short-term needs right now that you need to grow your business? And what are your long-term needs so that we can build the talent development pipeline? We are creating now a workforce that is the super technician. They're, they're handling it all. They're handling everything from production to quality to maintenance. And that skill set is dramatically different than what manufacturing looked like even 10 years ago. The training offers real world scenarios by offering such things as lean manufacturing skills, quality assurance, and safety for our employees. The employees who've been through the training understand not only their role in manufacturing, but the roles of all the other employees and groups within our facility. If a prospective employee comes to me with a nationally recognized certification, their resume goes to the top of the stack. The Engineering Technology Advanced Manufacturing Program is funded by the United States Department of Labor and our local college along with other colleges throughout the state are working together to develop curriculum that will be delivered on the academic side as well as the, the non-credit side. There's also existing curriculum that we have rolled out that leads to nationally recognized certifications in advanced manufacturing. Additionally, we are partnering with Workforce Board to obtain unemployed workers to get them trained up in skills that are desperately needed by the manufacturers in our region and then to place them into those jobs. The training is delivered using what we call technology-based learning. That terminology is uh, more frequently referred to as blended learning. What that means is that we're able to deliver the training in real time using tools like Microsoft Live Meeting or WebEx to learners who are geographically dispersed. We also record the courses so that students who aren't able to attend the class during a set time period, say because they're working, are able to watch the recorded course later and then communicate with the instructor with questions, etc., via email. It's very simple to log on to your computer at home and learn at your own pace. It didn't take long to complete the course, and my certification is recognized across the U.S. After completing the training at my local college, I am a certified production technician. Now, I'm ready to work. <laughs>